Welcome aboard the Kickback Bed and Breakfast, featured by Yacht and Cot. This is the aft deck of the Kickback and the view surrounding the marina. Kickback is located in beautiful Ensenada, Mexico at the Cruise Port Marina. It was built in 1934 by Trumpy Mathis Yacht Company. The first owner was E.R. Finmore Johnson, the son of E.R. Johnson, who was the gentleman who invented the Victrola. The boat's name, when it was first built, was the Elsie Finmore in 1934. You'll notice the exquisite brass aboard the kickback, which is featured throughout. We have a barbecue grill, if you want to cook your own lunch on board. A nice sun deck with lounge chairs. This is the entrance to the captain's quarters. There's also another entrance down below. We'll head down the side of the kickback first. After the kickback was the Elsie Finmore, it became the USS Howard M. Johnson. It was commissioned by the U.S. military during World War II, where it was used for a photography boat also. The, the original owner, which was also known as Sunfin, was a famous oceanographer. He filmed two more movies above board the kickback. One was up the Panama. It's in black and white and it was filmed in 1935-36. And it features a voyage through the Panama Canal. Here we have the forward deck. The view. There's a cruise ship in today. More brass. More brass. And the view from the very forward point back we have the sunrise sunset viewing area this is a futon mattress for the outdoorsman who'd like to sleep outside this room is also good. we have a nice waterfall various potted plants which you can pick up in mexico in the pots themselves for a tenth, a gazillion of the cost that it would cost you in the States. Have the futon, the USS Pazo for your pet, or our resident dog, Pazo. A nice chair. Here's a perfect spot to sit and enjoy a beautiful sunset in the evening, smoke a cigar, and just relax. This is the view from the forward deck of the kickback. You can see into the chart room or pilot house. The Mexican flag a slight breeze today. Next we will enter the chart room or pilot house. Off to your port side or left. This room was set up to accommodate the handicap. It has a small private portable head or toilet for you land lovers so you don't have to go up and down the stairs or the ramps the marina does have an exquisite shower room if you'd like more space solid brass. The pilot house has a portable head, recliner, 
and as with all the rooms in the kickback beautiful mahogany wood teak flooring with all the rooms in the kickback you have Wi-Fi and DVD and direct TV and many movies to choose from there's a satellite for huge net and direct TV the next room we will explore is the galley the threshold into the galley again varnished teak floors in this room and unique attributes that you will never find in a hotel Here we have the mast which also doubles as a pan rack and as you can see the view from the galley and the chart room both is amazing there's ample windows and a beautiful view this very spacious galley with modern updated equipment features fine dining by Captain Carla the chef you can also get your very own private cabin boy or cabin girl whichever you choose and they can cook you lunch and dinner and breakfast too if you would like for days where the weather is not quite as accommodating we have an indoor breakfast satay a little breakfast nook most days we will be dining in the dining area outdoors with this exquisite mahogany table Next, we'll head down below the lower deck with all the staterooms. Notice that the teak is about two inches thick on the decks. As you head down the stairs, you will see off to your left or port the head, the sink. Nice little boat shelf. You will find all kinds of little added extra beauties aboard the kickback. Here we have a shower. And as I said before, you are also welcome to the marina's showers, which are full accommodations for the shower and the bathroom both. Up at the marina or aboard the kickback where you don't have to go anywhere. And the head or toilet for you landlovers. This is the community head. Right outside, directly across from the community head, we have the D.W. Griffith room. The D.W. Griffith room is named at is the original plate that was on it when the boat was purchased. D.W. Griffith, Griffith is a famous cinematographer. He wrote Abraham Lincoln and King Kong and this may be the boat that he used for King Kong back in 1937 we're not sure we're doing research on that one so don't go, don't hold me to it inside the D.W. Griffith room and for those of you that don't know D.W. Griffith also has Griffith Park named after him and a stamp named after him enter into the D.W. Griffith room notice that all the bulkheads are walls of the kickback are actually the side of the boat just being completely We're not all cramped in in little bitty cabins with cots. You have full 
ample space to move around and enjoy your comfort. Each room has a TV, satellite, you can order pay-per-view. The next room is the lighthouse, the sliding door for your privacy. For when we do not have guests in the lighthouse, any guests from the D.W. Griffith room or the captain's quarters is more than welcome to use this forward head also. In the lighthouse, we have one double bed below the twin bunk and one king size bed. The lighthouse sleeps comfortably five people. Large screen TV internet access, a skylight. Most of the rooms are equipped with ample lighting from the skylights, not dark and dingy dungeon. Here we have the forward head. The forward head features a full-size deep-soaked jacuzzi. And a squeaky floor, only in one spot. Next, we're going to head through the mechanics room and the engine room into the captain's quarters. Like I had mentioned before, you can access it from its own private access up above, or you may just want to tour through the mechanics room and tinker a while on your way through to the engine room and view the spectacular view in the engine room. This is the mechanics room. I didn't turn the light on. It's kind of dark in here right now. But we still have skylights. Into the engine room. This is a 1934 Superior Diesel 6 pit cylinder. Uh, 450 RPMs. It runs so smooth and slow turning that you can just lay your hand on it. Which is what the engineer has to do. He has to stay down here and oil this engine every three hours. There's the gin set and the Zuzu. He oils it every three hours. And the whole boat is controlled by the engineer. Let's see if I can get some light. There we go. And here is the other half of that telegraph. This one has not been polished yet. Here's our engine. She is a beauty. And the air compressor. It's air start. The generator starts the compressor, which starts the air start engine. Here we have the captain's quarters. Notice the beautiful wood throughout the whole boat. The knuckles on the boat are amazing. The whole construction of this entire boat is just exquisitely built. Captain's room is Nicely lit. There's the upper hatch. And the steps leading up to it. It has portholes surrounding the room, which you can open like this one or leave closed. It's nothing like waking up to the fresh smell of the crisp ocean air in the morning. It's so relaxing. The captain's quarters sleeps too. It has a king size bed, 
a jacuzzi. It's empty right now. We fill it fresh for every guest so that you do not have to have the nice smelly chlorinated water. You get your own fresh jacuzzi every time. I need a dresser space, closet space. And now we will head back up to complete the tour of the kickback bed and breakfast featured by Yacht and Con. I hope you enjoyed your tour and we are looking forward to seeing you soon. Just remember, the kickback isn't just a vacation. It's a piece of history and it is a staycation of a lifetime.